Everybody's freaking out right now about Uber stock going through the roof. It's going through the roof, it's going crazy. Let me explain to you guys why stock prices even go up. It's all about perception. A stock is just a certificate of the value of a company. That's all a stock is. Let's, let's look at it like this. Let's say the American dollar. We, we know the American dollar because that's a stock that we're all familiar with. The American dollar is nothing but a piece of stock in this country called America. Now, that dollar's worth the dollar as long as America's worth a certain value. Now, the more dollars you pump out, the country never changes its value. The dollar gets worth less and less and less with the more dollars you pump out into this. We call it diluting the dollar. You got too many dollars floating around, too many certificates of stock floating around, it becomes worthless and worthless. What did Uber just do? They decided to buy back $7 billion worth of stock. This is the first time they've ever done it. $7 billion worth of outstanding stock, Uber is pulling it back into their company. They're taking dollars off of the street, certificates off of the street, holding them back. What did we just say? If you got too many outstanding, it dilutes it. You pull dollars back, guess what? It makes the certificates that are still outstanding seem worth more. Uber has about 2 billion and 44 million shares outstanding right now. They're buying back 7 billion of that. So 7 billion worth of at the current price. The people who initially bought a long time ago when it was low are gonna be part of that buyback. Of course, the people who are buying right now at the higher price, they're not gonna be a part of that buyback. Why would you buy it at let's say $60, then turn around and sell it at $60. You wouldn't. The people who bought it at like 20, 25, 30, 15, you know, those are the people that's gonna be part of this buyback. Uber's gonna be like, I'm gonna buy back all of these shares that at the current price, so you guys get a return on your investments. You guys get a profit back. And what does that do? What do we say? When you pull stocks off the market, it increases the value of the outstanding shares that are out there. The company never changes value. Uber is what is worth, is what is worth. Look at the market cap, look at the outstanding shares. That's how you can tell whether or not a company's worth it. The stock price is only an indication of how much the outstanding shares are worth. If Uber, let's say Uber was worth $10 billion and only had one share of stock, that one share would be worth 10 billion. If I had two, each one would be worth 5 billion. If I had four, each one will be worth 2.5 billion. You see how the more I put out there in outstanding, the less the stock gets, the price is going down. If I want that price to go up, I need to buy some shit back. It's an illusion, it's a trick. And people are freaking out, oh, the protest didn't do that. It just pumped Uber stock, it made Uber. They don't, don't listen to these people. They don't know what they are talking about. The buyback. The first time Uber has ever done this in the history of this company, they're buying back shares. Why? To create the value, to go up, it's an illusion. If you want your company stock to be worth more, not your company being worth more, but your company stock being worth more, buy it all back. Anything outstanding now looks very valuable because you got less outstanding shares. A lot of people don't know what the hell they're talking about. They want to say, oh yeah, Uber's worth a lot more now. Look, trust me. I do this for a living. I do financials for a living. I'm a degree accountant. I had a 20 year corporate career in accounting. I know how to read a financial statement. You look at the base of everything. Don't let the trickery fool you. Don't let the sleight of hand magic card trick fool you. Oh man, you guys protested. All it did was make Uber stock look good. No, it didn't. It made Uber realize we're not a fucking joke. That's what it made them realize. Their stock went up because of the buyback. Don't fall for the bullshit. And I'd like to say thank you to Torsten for organizing a global historic protest yesterday. That was amazing. It was amazing. And I think the apps now see that we're all willing to stand up for each other. They now see that we're a force to be reckoned with. We're not just individual drivers out there. We the 300. We the team across the globe. We're a lot of protesters out there. A lot of different unions of protesters, of drivers out there stood up for everybody. And for the drivers that went out there and drove... You're welcome. You're welcome. Honestly, and we mean that for real because you probably needed the money. We all saved up for the protest to be able to afford the protest, to be able to stand up to the apps. We stood up. They saw us coming. Media across the globe was talking about it. Thanks to Torsten organizing this whole thing. We just support him. We understand what he's talking about. We understand what he's doing. So we stood up with him. The apps are like, we need to get our shares off this road. A lot of people want to pull out of ride share. Why do you think they're buying all their shares back? If this company, if the stock was still going to keep going up, 
Why would everybody be bailing right now? $7 billion worth of stock. People are like, you know what? Buy my shares out while it's high right now. The people who are buying right now at this very high price are going to be highly upset because as soon as you buy this stock, it's going to tank. And once it tanks, after they do the buyback, you're going to realize this stock is not really worth what we thought it was. People are going to be highly upset. People are going to be sitting in court like, we want our money back, man. We thought this company was doing well. We thought it was doing good. The value of Uber never changed. Look at the value of the company. Don't look at the value of the stock. Look at the value of the company. You'll see. Drivers spoke up. They listened. They see us coming. They know we don't need a union. We got each other. And that's what they scared of.